Hey everyone, this is going to be an unboxing and first impressions of the brand new Harvey's Big Eye Rip Fit System. I've actually been waiting on this since October, um, so I'm excited to bring you the unboxing and first impressions. I am going to try to do a review on this after I've got some use out of it, but hey, let's get into it. Hey everyone, um, this is actually something I've been waiting on. Um, I know the camera angle is not perfect, but I want you to be able to see the actual unboxing. I'll try to do this real time, hope it doesn't bore you. Uh, but this is the Harvey Big Eye uh, Rip Fence. This is the new um, fence that they unveiled um, at AWFS this year. Um, it just came in. We're gonna do a, uh, an unboxing and hopefully a uh, first impressions. Um, and maybe even a review, depending on um, if I want to do two videos or not. I may just do wait just a little while and use it and then do a review on it. Um, I'm sure it is going to be amazing. If you haven't checked out my other video, I'll leave a link up here um, where I did the, uh, the table saw review of the Harvey after a year. And if you watch that, you'll note that Several of the things, actually all but one of the things that I had issues with, um, with the Harvey saw, just in general, was actually um, related to the fence. Uh, didn't really have any issues with the exception of uh, the, the blade continuing to run. Um, everything else really had to do with the, uh, with the fence. So... From what I have seen, um, got a little damage here. Hopefully it's not an issue. Of course, you know how freight companies are and FedEx. Um, you put fragile all over it and uh, that's not something they even see. <laughs> About par for the course, I guess. Although my FedEx guy is pretty cool. Very nicely packaged. Oh, very, very nice. Of course, who doesn't love styrofoam, right? Here's actually one of the rails. It's like some hardware. Looks like some hardware here. I see set screws um, here and here. Which one there. Definitely want to keep all this together. Last thing I need to do is be losing pieces. So, um, awesome. Yeah, this is the, the main front rail. Recognize it because of the, um, the flip stops here. Um, I do remember seeing that, but nice so let me get this over here make sure I'm not missing anything in here I don't think that I am let's go ahead and get this out real quick and then we're gonna get to the task of, uh, of putting this thing on like I said it's been a little over a year but uh, I don't remember it being very difficult to, to get all this done so, I think it will be just fine. Yeah. Look at me grunting, but you know, it really wasn't too bad. <laughs> so, here again, getting fragile. Let's see how much attention they paid to the fragile part. So far, so good. Don't see anything major. It is packaged good from Harvey, of course. Um, they did a really good job packaging their stuff. Um, I've been waiting on this. It was originally supposed to get here uh, back in October. 
and they had an issue with, with some uh, some freight and uh, coming from I guess Japan or um, can't remember exactly where I'll pop it up on the screen if I can uh, find that information <laughs> all right so let's just flip this over get all this padding out from under here and I think it shipped this way from overseas because from my understanding they uh, they just simply ship it back out good good packaging this should be the fence system itself oh beautiful is she beautiful i love it love it there we go perfect one of the best features, there's this uh, locking system here, um, those little bearings, and the far end locking system, which is going to keep us from having play um, on the fence. One thing I've been really looking forward to. Okay, so I got everything out. I've looked all in the box. Um, got some pieces here. It looks like this is maybe an extra tape, because it's already it already comes with the tape, um, measuring tape on it on both sides. Um, they did send some some Allen keys. Actually, looks like a pretty decent set of Allen keys. Um, so that's nice. Um, looks like all the hardware, all the bolts. From my understanding, these go in, and the rails just slide on to these. I think that's going to make it easy installation. And uh, some wrenches. Um, looks like a. It might be a drill bit. I don't know. Yeah, there's a drill bit there. Um, the only thing I'm not seeing, and I have been through uh, both boxes, is I'm not seeing a any kind of instructions. So I am only assuming that you have to look it up online, which, I mean, it is what it is, but um, a little disappointing. I'd like to have some, uh, some nice instructions uh, to go with this. Um, so there's something to think about Harvey so basically here I'm just gonna take the old rail system off doesn't look like I'm gonna have to use any of the bolts from the old system looks like everything needing to mount the new system comes with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take the switch off and uh, take everything off from the old system okay I open the bag of hardware here um, at least this one I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got eight short ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight long ones, but the problem is um, I'm missing missing two lock washers and two nuts. So I'm just going to take take lock washer and nut from these old ones here. I have no doubt, um, as a matter of fact, I, I may still reach out to them just so I can have all of these other ones too. I'm sure I could probably go to the hardware store, but just let them know that um, they had some hardware missing. I, I'm sure they'll definitely send it over. I, I have no doubts about that. I just, I don't want to wait um, to put them together. So the question I have is I am really unsure of which one goes on the front and which one goes on the back. Um, you know, I really truthfully do not know. But looking online, they do have one from Harvey, uh, but it's a pretty much a general overview and, and doesn't really explain, um, unless I'm missing something. So I didn't see anything that explained um, which bolts to use where. Um, I'm just going on needs like this this one here on the far end. This one actually has a, a cast piece here on the, uh, the cast iron um, where this longer one would not go in. It, it would never tighten up. Um, there's a piece back here. So I used the short one here 
and I, I'm not sure where to sit these yet. I'm going to put them in the low position first, but I only have two. There's nothing behind this one, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a long one for this one because there's plenty of room back here for this one to be put on. Now, I do have additional holes down here that's on this, uh, this kind of wing. It's one thing I, I really wish I would have gotten, and if you're in the market for a table saw or Harvey table saw, I would highly recommend getting the cast iron wing over here. I really wish I, really wish I would have. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I may look into to getting the, um, the cast iron wing here um, rather than this composite. Um, it's, it's okay. It does its job. It's just um, it's a little flimsy, not completely, completely straight. So I would like to have the cast iron one. Maybe one day. Um, right now, <laughs> got to recoup this. Um, th this is not sponsored by Harvey. They did not send me this. Um, I paid for this with my own money. They did, however, send me a um, the RG um, little um, roller board thing, which was nice. Uh, sent me that because this was taking so long. Uh, like I said, I've been waiting on this uh, really <clears throat> since really since October because they were supposed to ship out in October. So. Um, I called one day to inquire um, about an update. Um, that's just me being impatient. They said they would email when they were ready to ship. <laughs> but you know, when you're waiting on something like this, you get impatient. So when I called, um, they actually offered me um, a little discount on the purchase price or refund uh, because it was taking so long. Um, or um, the R, we talked about it, and I, did, I didn't have the uh, the RG roller thing there, so I got that. All right, so I'm going to see if I can slide this on. I may have an issue over here on this end where I don't have a whole lot of room. Um, so we're going to have to just see see if I got enough room or if the height is right uh, where my CNC is over here. We may just be lucky and go right underneath it so i think we're gonna I think we may get lucky here we may just get lucky and again i'm actually that actually helps because the cnc is helping hold it up i don't have much play here with this one yeah, that looks like this might be right if this this holds Holds true. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Not sure we're still in that same position. That works. And I'm assuming these are the same height. Yeah, they are. Well, I will say one thing. They did say it was very easy installation, so... This does seem to be pretty straightforward. Had that one just a hair too tight. front rail installed um, well for the most part still I'm not 100% sure where to stop it it's it's on there now I'm going to uh... I did have to do a little bit of sanding after getting the front and the back rail off uh, just due to some moisture getting down in between the rail and the table saw there we go Dusty rail. Some
Ooh, that one's sharp. Yeah, and we got some got some nice rust back here too. So let's uh, let's go ahead and. Should have that taken care of. Yeah, it's just really some surface rust. I'm sharp on my finger. All right, so this one is going to be a short one. Long one, long one, long one. So short one, long one, long one, long one. This this side here again has the issue uh, with the little part on the back, the casting part where I can't get the um, long bolt in. I may be doing this completely wrong. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, but that just seems to make the most sense um, as far as which bolts to use where. Seems to be even less room on this one. It did make it a little difficult on the front side um, to actually get the rail on um, only because you have to leave it loose to be able to get the rail on and the short bolt really didn't give you a really didn't give you much room to play with when you had to grab a couple of threads I'll be right back I'm gonna have to get a band-aid okay I'm back um, one would think, if you know me, I'm a paramedic, one would think that I would have a plethora of um, first aid stuff here at the house, but no, I don't. Pretty sure I got the last band-aid and I don't even know that I'd call it a band-aid. It looks like a band-aid for a baby. So, there you go. But it serves a purpose. To keep it from bleeding, which was getting in the way. up position so I did check that um, off camera I slid the fence on um, and it was actually too low in the down position on on my side um, so I did have to change that All right, so I'm assuming this goes well yeah, there's really only one way it can go there, buddy. <laughs> so it's going. Well, I say there's only one way it can go. Um, yeah, it is because this locks. If I put the, yeah, if I put the rail up, that's not going to work. I think this is my bolt hole for um, for the dust collection. So let's go ahead, and I will double check this here in just a minute once I get it on just to make sure it's going to ride correctly. I mean, that's how it lines up. Um, <laughs> I truthfully don't know. <laughs> so, your guess is as good as mine. So there we go. We're, we're flushed up there. I think that'll be I think that'll be fine. So all right, so I'm game for let's tighten these down. All right. I can tell you that is very smooth. I don't know what we're hitting here. Let's make sure we're... Ah! Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Man, that is smooth. It's got a little stop here. Um, obviously, once you get it on, you can flip that up. It's not going to let it... Well, that ain't going to work there. Oh, it's, of course, it's not going to be on this side anyway, but uh, since I've got this, it's not going to come any further than there this way. Um, so if I wanted, wanted to use it um, on this side, but I don't know why I would want to use it on this side for any reason. So 
Um, so yeah, disregard that. All right, so let's make sure we're good all the way across. Yep, so here, I guess technically, I've already tightened it up. I, it's really not that big of a deal. Technically, if you wanted to, you could come over here. Uh, I'm assuming this is as far as we can go here. Um, since that would be at our high, well, we got to adjust that. But um, but yeah, I'm not going to be going any further than this anyway. I've got stop set up here. Um, that's it. And I've got plenty of rail. Technically, technically you could leave that end. Um, I did have to tighten the uh, mechanism down. It wasn't getting a good um, pull on the back rail. But after I got that done, it worked great. No move. No. That was awesome. Okay, so I checked and we are out of square to the miter slot. So we're supposed to be three, three bolts over here. A couple of things here. There are three bolts, one on each side. So there's six total. If you loosen them up, there are little set screws um, on the, the side facing you, one on each side of the rail. Uh, you just tighten that in and it actually pulls in. You can see here where the fence actually will pull in and touch my square and getting it square to it. What you might also notice is I did not hook up the overhead dust collection. Um, it really, unless I'm missing something, it didn't really work well with this rail. Uh, I've got to go back and try to figure something out. Um, I certainly wouldn't mind having the Shark S, uh, 12S. That's the, uh, the big universal overhead guard that they have. But in any case, um, this was pretty easy to square up to the miter saw, um, slot. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing here. So we are good to go and square to the miter slot. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set my measuring tape. I uh, just need to run the blade up and pull the fence all the way over and just uh, adjust that um, adjust that tape or adjust the tape and the uh, the high low fence setting, which I'll go over here in just a few minutes. But right now, I'm just getting my zero set for my high fence, which is pretty much what I run uh, most all the time. So I may have originally said something about not having a place to mount this, and it doesn't mount like it did before, bolting directly up into it. So what you do have to do, there's a couple of bolts in there um, with some small nuts on them, and you just simply put it in there and there's like a little T-slot right here those will slide into. And if you choose, you have the ability to slide this all the way down. Um, down here to where you can have it on the right side if, if that's something you would prefer. Okay, so the micro adjustment um, on here um, is, I, I was, I don't, I won't say disappointed, I was um, a little surprised. I was actually thinking this was going to be some sort of a, a dial, maybe a, I don't know, my mind I was thinking rack and pinion or, or, or of some kind, but basically, this is simply a a rubber um, wheel, pretty much, um, that just rides along this little rail right here, and you simply just move it. You can move it over with your finger like that. It's uh, it is simply a little rubber wheel, 
Um, so it will slip, but it does work. Um, you can definitely do micro adjustments and look how crystal clear that is. I mean, you can absolutely see every little mark on this thing. And when you, I'm, I'm gonna keep it close so you can see, I'm actually going to lock this down. You can see now it's locked. It, it did not move whatsoever. Uh, where before it would it would kind of move a little bit on my uh, on the old fence. This here is something that is wonderful. Um, it doesn't stick out here to where it winds up hitting you. The locking mechanism being on top is a great thing. So one of the uh, great features on this uh, system is one of the reasons I really wanted it is these flip stop guides. If you make a lot of repeatable cuts, I mean, you can set those every time. It does just take a small, an Allen key here um, to loosen those up and move them. But if you know you're going to make a bunch of repeatable cuts, um, it's something great to do or something great to have. So just as a side note, there's a few things I still don't know where they go. Um, I haven't heard back from Harvey at the time of sending this video. Um, and I still haven't found any instructions, but this piece here, um, I am really not sure what this is. I almost think it's some type of a leg or something. By all means, if you know what this is, <laughs> please leave it in the comments below because I'm not sure. There's this little rail piece here. Um, this fits in the same slot as the, um, as your hardware does, um, right here. So I, I'm sure it has something to do with that. Um, but again, there's no instructions, so I'm really unclear. Pretty sure I know what these are. I think these are just extra stops that go up under here. Sorry. If you can see down there to where that actually attaches, hard to see. Um, that actually the, the locking mechanism from, from the back side. So a lot of extra bolts left over. Like I said, this can be used for any table saw, any cabinet saw that I'm aware of. So you have the option to, um, uh, unlike the old one where it had a high low glass to look through, this one has a tape that actually moves. So this is set, I've set mine, you have to set it uh, coming off your saw. But if I were to switch my fence into the low position, right now I am on the high position so the tape is against the high. I simply am going to slide this over and if you'll come down on this side you will see there is a low position and it slides right up against it. Then your sight glass would be accurate for the low position. And just to slide it back you simply just take it and slide it back over. Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty secure. Well, there you go. So <laughs> I hope that was uh, some value to you. Again, if you have ordered one of these, I hope this helps you with the installation. Um, I, I still haven't heard back from Harvey by the time I have uh, edited this video. So it was late in the evening-ish um, when I, when I kind of started doing this. So um, they've always been great to deal with. I'm sure they were just super busy. So um, overall, I absolutely love this fence. So it, again, it solved several problems that I had um, and that were specifically fence related. Uh, this thing is absolutely a, a great thing to add to my table saw. Um, again, as I mentioned in the video, this should fit any cabinet saw or most any cabinet saw. You can check with Harvey just to make sure. Um, I'm excited to use it. Um, I, I'll try to do a review. I'm, I want to get some uh, time on it. I don't want to just put it on and say, hey, it's great after never having cut anything. I'm sure it will be fine, but I'd like to get some, uh, some cuts behind it and I'll follow this up with a, a full review on, on the fence. So if you got any questions, leave them below. I hope this helps you if you needed some assistance putting this together. So anyway, we'll catch you in the next video.